Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're a brand new subscriber or a brand new viewer. My name is Kyle. Today we're going to be talking about The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. This movie is directed by Tom Gorgon and stars the one and only Nicolas Cage as Nick Cage, a sort of meta version of himself. He's a struggling actor who is considering quitting the profession when at the last minute he gets a call from his agent summoning him to the island of a rich mega fan of Nick Cage played by Pedro Pascal in order to try to put him in his next movie. However, when the CIA gets involved, the man Nick Cage is going to see might be more dangerous than led to believe. I actually saw this movie at an advanced screening last weekend and I apologize it's taking me this long to get this review out to you guys, but let's get into it. When it comes to Nicolas Cage, I've always liked him. I've always felt like he was a very good actor, a very talented actor. When I was a kid, I absolutely loved the National Treasure movies. I always cite them as the reason I got into history, and history was my minor in college, so they definitely had a lasting impact on me. As I've gotten older, I've seen his other performances in The Rock and, you know, Con Air, Gone in 60 Seconds, and his best performance to date, in my opinion, will always be Leaving Las Vegas. I think that's one of the best movies ever made, and his performance in it is just, like, everyone who wants to get into acting, I do think that's one of those performances you just have to see. Now, unfortunately, and to some people fortunately, Nicolas Cage has made some not-so-great movies. And I think the biggest problem with those movies is that the directors simply just don't know how to direct him, and he ends up going a little too off the rails, but... To some people, it's pure entertainment. What I can say right off the bat about this movie is that Nicolas Cage is in a way back because this is a major studio produced movie and I do think that he is giving a genuinely good performance. Now I don't want to get too in detail about him because I do think going to see the movie to try to explore the characteristics of his performance I think is worth seeing it for yourself. Pedro Pascal just continues to be an extremely likable actor. And I definitely liked his character in the movie. He had terrific chemistry with Nicolas Cage. I found out after the movie that Pedro Pascal is a fan of Nicolas Cage. So it made those sort of fanboy-like sequences that much more entertaining. Now the term meta is becoming bigger than ever today. And we're in a time now where movies can simply be about anything. They could take a character and make he or she just into whatever they want. If you're somebody like me who has seen Nicolas Cage's movies, you're definitely going to get a plethora of the references in the film. And if you're somebody who religiously watches this man, I'm sure you're gonna get all of them. I think there's probably a couple that I've missed. You're definitely going to enjoy this film simply on the basis of all the references to his previous work, particularly with Face Off, with the Golden Guns. That was actually pretty cool. Face Off, Face Off and I, we have a, we have a particularly interesting history. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I definitely like the references in the movie. The movie also co-stars Tiffany Haddish as a CIA agent. She definitely is a lot of fun in the movie and definitely adds a big laugh. I do think the best thing I can say about this movie is that it was consistently funny. I saw it with a friend of mine and I also saw it in a packed theater. The entire theater was packed and everyone was laughing pretty hard. There were a couple of jokes that I was, I probably missed the next couple of lines. The action sequences were directed well. I didn't think there was any shaky cam in those sequences, and I, I definitely appreciated that approach. The direction definitely felt a bit sitcom-y at times, where characters are kind of just sitting around and you can tell that it's a set, but I do think for the most part the director of the film did a pretty good job. Now this movie, at the time I'm recording this and editing this, is sitting at a whopping 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't know about that. I thought the movie was fun. I thought it was an enjoyable movie, but I don't, I wasn't like absolutely amazed by what I saw. It was a fun time at the movies. Simple as that. I'm going to give The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent a B. If you saw it at an advanced screening like me, what did you think about the film? And also for those who will see it this weekend and in the coming weeks afterward, what are your guys' thoughts on the movie? I'd like to hear your comments, so please put them in the comments section below. In the meantime, guys, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. All the links to my social media pages can be found in that description box below, as well as my newly formed website, kjgpictures.com, also in the description box below. Thank you all so much as always for watching, and stay tuned.